Hi everyone, Carolyn here. Welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. The last few days we've been talking about forgiveness and tonight we're going to talk a little bit more about that, including a little bit more of my experience with the steps to actually forgiving. My list, as I'm certain you all know, will not be fully inclusive of every situation that you could experience and it will not cover all of those situations. I'm going to go just based on my experience in generalities, okay? The first thing you need to do is that you need to recognize the need to forgive someone. Now, that means, yes, I had a situation where I was wronged. Yes, I'm hurt because of it. And yes, I'm carrying that load. And it's heavy and I haven't let it go. That means you need to forgive. Now you need to recognize what you can do in this situation. Some of the things that you could do would be to face to face acknowledge the situation with the person so that they understand how they hurt you and what happened. You can talk through the entire situation and let them know how you feel because of it. And then another option would be to completely ignore, avoid or walk away from that person or that type of situation in the future. These are just some options of what you can do that are you are able to do. You also have to realize what you cannot do. One of the biggest things that you cannot do is you can't change what's already happened. And you also cannot change someone else's behavior. So they've made their choices, they've done what they've done, and you can't change it. It's like I can't unring a bell. So, in this case, you also can't make them feel sorry about their actions. But, you can choose to do what you can do. In this situation, you can remember that you are not in control of the entire situation. You are in control of a small part, and that is your reaction to the situation. You will have to choose to continuously let it go. Let that situation go over and over again. Every time it comes up, every time it's brought to your memory, every time that you feel weighted down by it, you have to choose to let it go. You also have to practice your behavior in any given situation that you are going to be encountering this person again, or if it's a similar situation, practice what your behavior is going to be because by adjusting your behavior, they may react in a different way than in previous situations that were of a similar nature. Whatever you do, be respectful, but don't be a doormat. You don't have to let them run over you again, but you still need to be respectful so that you are not the one needing the forgiveness. You then make clear limitations on what is and is not acceptable behavior. In my life, I'm not going to accept this, this, or this. Let them know straight up, these are the things that are not acceptable. Then stand firm in those limitations. Don't let them slide, because once you let it slide, you've accepted it, and then it's okay for them to do that. Now, if this person chooses to apologize, accept their sincere apology. Apologize then for your part in the situation, knowing that nothing is ever one-sided and it takes two to tango. Talk about ways that you can both improve your communication and your relationship with each other in the future. If this person chooses not to forgive, in your head, you need to forgive them anyway. Because it, this is a weight that as long as you're not the one in the wrong, it's not your weight to bear. So between you and God, forgive the person and get that off your shoulders. Don't carry that weight whether or not they have apologized. They may apologize in the future, but right now, do you need to carry that weight? No, let it go. But you do need to protect yourself for the future. So protect yourself by changing your behavior. That's what you can do. Change your behavior. Uh, 
you don't have to accept people's bad behavior in your life over and over and over again. If you have to remove yourself from the situation or from the person, make ways to get around that type of situation, go ahead and do it. But you have the right to choose if somebody's going to disrespect you. Keep in mind that forgiveness is not just for the other person. It's mostly for you. Because if you haven't done the wrong, that guilt, that weight, that anger, bitterness, frustration, it's not yours to carry. Let it go. Get that off your shoulders. Be free of it. Those are chains that are holding you back, and they're not yours. You are free of that once you forgive. So let it go. Be done with it. Be free of those change. chains. Sorry. Be free of those chains. Remember, if we are faithful to confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us of our sins. So let them go. Always be willing to apologize when you are a part of a situation so that you can be free of having to carry the chains of the guilt and then always forgive so that you are free of carrying the chains of the anger, the bitterness, frustration, and the hurt. I really hope this has helped somebody tonight. I thank you all for listening. Let me know what you think. Um, maybe we can have a discussion in the future about how we need to be forgiven. But for now, I just look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, I hope you have a great night. Thanks, y'all.